I went to the Outer Cross today and I met Chuck. He's the head of our region in Central Florida region. And he has a couple things to put out for the novices. That way you don't end up reading five pages of information that really you might not get. So here's some quick tips. Listen up. All right, so um, novices, uh, when you come to the event, you should be prepared to uh, get your car check inspected right away. That is very important because you have to have time to get to the novice walkthrough. Uh, novice walkthrough is mandatory for all novices. Uh, it's an instructed walk through the course, and you just need to listen up and be prepared to go on that. Uh, the best way to do that, like I said, is get here early, uh, get your car check inspected early, uh, walk the course once or twice, and then be ready for that novice walkthrough. Uh, another tip is always bring some blue painter's tape if you don't have numbers for your car. Uh, the worst part, when you come to uh, the event, if you're not ready, if you don't have tape, you can't get your numbers on your car, you can't get check inspected, so now you're already late. So good tip is just bring that painter's tape. Also, be prepared to work. Some novices don't realize that uh, autocross is a uh, worker driver sport. So we're all self-sustained. Uh, everybody who drives is a worker. So you'll have one heat where you have to do a work assignment, most likely uh, shagging cones on the course when you first get started. And one heat you'll be driving, and the next heat you'll be off or whatever you want to do. Um, so those are the, those are the main tips. Um, be prepared to work, bring painter's tape, get here early, get your car tech inspected right away, and make sure you go on that novice walkthrough. Um, the last thing I will say is take advantage of the novice instructors. They are um, valuable to your uh, experience. Uh, you will improve your time greatly uh, simply by uh, using a novice instructor. So don't be shy. Nobody's judging you. Um, just come out, have fun, and, and learn how to do it. That's it. All right, make sure you pre-register to the events and please use Google Maps to actually see how to get to the actual location of the event. Uh, the address is there, but sometimes you might be taking a dirt road or a slight gravel road to get where we actually compete on. Say, a good example for the Central Florida region is the land airport. There's a little dirt road that goes to the RC field that goes to the airport where we compete at. So it's little things like that that are actually very important. So make sure you look, Google Map it, Make sure you plan out how long it's going to take you because you got to get the bright and early, get that registration done, tech inspection, novice walkthrough.